Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwan and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my weekly Sunday vlog for July 17, 2022. Uh, in this video we're talking about the updates, what's been going on with me for the past week concerning my life and YouTube and stuff like that. I have a couple food reviews for you guys. I'm going to tell you guys what products I've eaten recently, give you my thoughts on that. I saw a couple movies, got the Blu-rays here. Uh, I saw these movies recently and I want to give you guys my, my little mini review of them. Towards the end of the video we'll do a, a uh, Q&A. Uh, if you answer, if you comment on my last video, my last Sunday vlog, with questions, I got the questions here. Uh, I'm going to uh, <clears throat> go, I, I picked out some of my favorites, we'll answer them later, okay? Let's do the food reviews first. I had these Captain Crunch uh, variants, okay? So as you can see, they have DC characters on them. This one has Superman. This one has the Flash. On the back of the Superman one, he got the Super Supergirl one, okay? So we got Captain Crunch, Strong Berry, and then Captain Crunch, Cinnamon Bolts. I'll tell you right now, Strong Berry, kind of disappointing. I didn't like this one as much. I, 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 like, I like Superman, okay? I like Supergirl too, but uh, I didn't like the cereal. But the cereal, you know, this little gimmick is that it has Superman's colors on it. Yellow, blue, red, you know. Um, my biggest problem with it was that it was a little bland. Not enough flavor. And I tried with or without milk, there's no saving it. <laughs> the, the cereal is just not that, 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 uh, like, you expect strong berries, okay? And you have a nice fruity flavor to it. it it's not there, all right? And by the way, I did make videos of myself eating these for the very first time. You can see from my face how I... Uh, what I thought about it and stuff like that. So go check out that video if you haven't already, okay? Cinnamon Bolts was was super tasty, man. I like the cereal, okay? I may actually get another box, okay? Cinnamon Bolts has this good cinnamon, cinnamon flavor to it, okay? And it has has little little lightning bolts that flashes a flashes a, a, a symbol, okay? His emblem, whatever you want to call it, okay? Uh, this one was really tasty. I, I enjoy this one a lot more than this one. Okay, now, big warning to you, okay? If your favorite cereal is uh, not Cap'n Crunch, well, this is not gonna change it, you know? It's Cap'n Crunch, basically. It's the same, same, uh, 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 same ingredients or whatever, you know? It's just shaped a little differently, okay? This one has cinnamon, this one, this one has fruity flavors to it. Just like, just like uh, Cap'n Crunch has different, different types of, of, of uh, flavors too, you know? So, if you're never a big fan of Cap'n Crunch, you're not going to be a fan of these either, okay? But I like the cinnamon ones better because some of my favorite cereals are cinnamon covered, you know? I like Apple Jacks with that cinnamon in it. I like uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, okay? Those were, are good cereals to me, so maybe, I like this one, okay? But, uh, you know, I like Fruit Loops. I like fruity flavored uh, uh, cereals too, but this one didn't do it for me, all right? So I just want to let you know, out there in the grocery store, you can pick up these two uh, boxes of cereals and uh, I personally, I like this one a little bit more. Okay, I, I, I thought I thought this one has a little more flavor. Okay, the two movies I saw this past week are both DC animated movies, Justice League related movies. Okay, so the first one I saw was Justice Society World War II. Okay, so on regular Earth, Flash and Superman were uh, fighting an enemy, fighting Brainiac. Okay, and suddenly uh, Brainiac was shooting uh, a, a kryptonite bullet towards Superman, okay? And Flash had to, had to grab that bullet before it, it hits him, right? So he was like running so fast trying to cap capture the bullet and like he, he like he like jumped universes, okay? He like jumped timelines or whatever, right? So he ended up in this new place where Wonder Woman was like a leader of, like they had their, the Jay Garrick Flash, okay? And there was, uh, there was Hawkman, there was there was Hourglass, there was Black Canary during World War II. Now other characters did show up, Aquaman showed up, uh, Clark Kent uh, and Super, slash Superman was in the movie also, okay? But they weren't like main characters, but basically there were Nazis, it was World War II, there was uh, uh, Hitler was trying to team up, the, the, the Nazis were trying to hit to 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 um, uh, uh, combine forces with, with Aquaman and, and the Atlanteans and stuff like that. Crazy story, all right. So basically, um, the Flash tries to help out. Okay, there's two Flashes in, in the movie, but our Flash, 
Mary Allen Flash, uh, try to um, try to help out with with the rest of the with the rest of the, just, the Justice Society. Okay, will he get home? Watch the movie and check it out. Personally, I like it. Um, I was hoping there'd be a little more action to it. I, 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 there were parts where I, I, I'm honest with you. It was a little boring to me. Like, this compared to the Flashpoint Paradox movie that came out years ago, I personally uh, uh, um, like that one a little bit more than this one, okay? So, uh, this one, I thought I was going to like it. I, I was considering buying this when it first came out, and uh, I'm glad I didn't. I, I'm glad I waited until it went on, well, <laughs> uh, on used on eBay, you know, buying it for less than $10 before I, I, I watched it because... If I bought it when it first came out, I probably would be kind of disappointed that the movie wasn't as good, okay? The other movie I saw, I actually really did enjoy, even though most people who have seen this movie, because I, I, I read reviews when it first came out, right? And people said that it was an awful movie, don't watch it, and I, I, I waited because of that, okay? But when I finally saw it, I was like, this, was, this movie's great, okay? It's Injustice. Yeah, Injustice based off the, um, the video game. And the video game spawned a comic book series, right? So basically, here's the basic plot. Superman goes crazy, all right? So in this movie, uh, the Joker, which is Batman's uh, bad guy, um, decided to... Uh, the Joker... Uh, he, he had this huge plan, right? So the Joker had Superman kill Lois and Metropolis. Like, every... He, 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 the Joker made Superman kill his love, kill his, his city, right? Like, basically kill his all, everything him, him inside, okay? And because of that, Superman went nuts. He was like, this is not happening ever again. So he became a big tyrant. He was like, dominating everyone. Whoever, like, 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 uh, he, he still candy uh, from, you know, the, 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 the store, okay? Or, uh, or, uh, 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 cheat someone out of, like, a penny or something like that, Superman will come and kill you. That's right. You do, like, the, the most pettiest thing ever, okay? Uh, 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 you know, didn't tip, you, you didn't tip at, uh, a, a full 50% on, on, at the restaurant, Superman's gonna come and kill you. Yeah. So he went, he went nuts, man. Superman went crazy. He's like evil Superman, all right? So what happens? If uh, the entire world, uh, Superman tried to rule it, rule it, you know. So of course, uh, you know, there's Harley Quinn trying to team up with, with Batman and stuff like that, trying to take out Superman. Well, how does it go? Well, you gotta watch the movie to find out, man. But towards the end, there was like multiple universes coming together and stuff like that. It was crazy. All right. So uh, I actually really enjoyed it. Okay, I like I like seeing Superman go crazy. <laughs> All right. So I got a bunch of comments here on my phone. Uh, I'm using my new camcorder. I don't know if you guys like the new the new camcorder or not. It doesn't have the same video quality or sharpness as, as my iPhone 11, you know. But uh, it, it's an older camcorder. But I bought it for the upcoming Miami trip. Uh, my my girlfriend and I are going to Florida um, in, in a few weeks. Okay. Uh, maybe that's something you should ask. Uh, if I have a question to ask you guys, okay, for Sunday vlogs. Where should we go when we go to Miami, Florida? Okay, if any of you guys have been to Miami, uh, maybe uh, let me know, like, you know, your favorite restaurant or something like that. Okay, let me know. Mario Fan 98, this is the first question. Did you buy Turning Red? If I remember correctly, Turning Red is an animated Disney movie. Okay, and uh, I don't know if it's Pixar or not, um, but um, I haven't seen it. Okay, uh, I think it was like Disney Plus exclusive or something like that. And I think it is out on Blu-ray. Because I, I, the other day I did went to the store and I, I saw it. That the Turning Red uh, uh, Blu-ray and DVD were there. But I didn't pick it up. I, I have no idea what, what the story is about. I have not seen it. Okay. I'm just going to add it to the long list of Disney movies that I still haven't seen. <laughs> I haven't seen Toy Story 4. I haven't seen Lightyear. I haven't seen The Good Dinosaur. I haven't seen Coco. I haven't seen... I haven't seen Moana, I haven't seen, I haven't seen, um, there's a lot of movies I still haven't seen, okay? So, we'll just add Turning Red to the, to the long list of Disney movies that I still haven't seen, okay? Joseph Delgado asks, Hey David, will you get Max Payne the Trilogy Divinity Edition? It will be available for PS4, 
comes out in November, I might get it for PS5. Okay, well, uh, ho hope you enjoy it, Joseph uh, uh, Delgado. But for me, I never played Max Payne before, and I don't really have much of a, a desire to play the Max Payne trilogy uh, at all. You know, if, if, it's a, if it's a series I haven't picked up yet, I'm not gonna go to pick up. Like, I, I need to like pick and choose what, what I... I still haven't finished the, um, the Grand Theft Auto uh, Trilogy Definitive Edition. I, I need to finish that before buying anything else. I also bought NBA 2K22. Uh, still haven't finished that. And 2K23 is about to come out. I, 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 oh my gosh. So I, I'm kind of backlogged when it comes to games. I need to play the games I already bought before I start buying new games. Okay? Will I play Max Payne 3 in the future? Possibly. I could. You know? But let me finish up all these other games first. All right? 051 asks, What's the next vacation trip are you planning? Oh, well, I just told you guys. Uh, my, my girlfriend and I are going to New York. So, uh, not, not New York. We, we, we went to New York. We are going to Florida. <laughs> we're going to Florida in August. All right? And we're going specifically to Miami. Okay? And uh, I have a few things on the list already. Like, there's this, this outdoor mall that I want to take her to. Um, there's this uh, aquarium place. Uh, there's a bunch of parks there that are really nice to go to. Um, there's also a um, uh, there's also this, this cruise thing that I really want to take her to. Okay, uh, it's like thirty dollars per person. I mean, we, we might as well do that. Um, and then on, on the on the cruise ride, you actually see like celebrity mansions and stuff like that, celebrity houses uh, along the water. Uh, that may be something we we were interested in doing. Um, there is like gardens. Botanical gardens that we can go to and stuff like that. Um, that may be a thing we, 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 we could do. But I don't know what else there is to do in, 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 uh, in Florida, you know? I've been to Orlando. I've been to, you know, I, like, I've been to uh, Epcot and Disney World and Universal Studios and stuff like that. But uh, Miami specifically, I've never been there. So uh, it's going to be like an, an interesting it's a little adventure, okay? And I, of course I will be vlogging the, uh, the entire trip, okay? Jesse Johns asked me, uh, for you and your girlfriend, when you guys go to the movies, do you both agree to go to this movie, or one of you guys got to drag you to the, the movie on, uh, in the theaters? No, uh, neither of us dragged her to, to the other one. Sometimes, most of the, so far, okay, a movie comes out, I'm interested in it, hey, honey, do you want to see it too? She says, yes, we'll go, you know? Uh, if she says, I'm not interested, we'll go. <laughs> it's easy as that, okay? Um, no one drags the other anywhere okay uh we, we both kind of be like one of us needs to come up with the idea of we want to see this movie and then the other one needs to like agree to the idea before we go all right it, 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 like so far we've seen um halloween kills we saw uh, uh um uh we saw the matrix resurrections and we saw batman now batman i like and I, I asked her would you like to go see batman and she says yes with Matrix, she has a huge crush on, on Keanu Reeves, you know? So she asked me, uh, can we go see this movie? I said, yeah, let's go. And then Colin Kills is like the only movie that's available at the time. Uh, so, and we were like in, in the mood to see a movie because we've never seen a movie before, okay? But uh, together. So it's like, let's go see Halloween Kills, okay? And then, uh, so, so those are the only three movies we, we've seen so, so far, okay? I don't know if Halloween Ends going to watch her or not. She's, she's not really interested, you know? But let's say if the movie has like great reviews or whatever, then we'll, uh, sh she may consider it, okay? Okay. Cal Lavelle. He's always wondering if I pronounce his name right. That, that, that's my pronunciation this time. Who do you prefer, Nathan Drake or Lara Croft? I prefer Lara Croft a little bit more. I, I'm a huge fan of the, the, um, the Tomb Raider series. Okay, I played like every single game, including like, you know, Temple of Osiris and stuff like that. You know, the, the, the games are not... Not even in part of the main main franchise and stuff like that. So all the movies, like remember when the, when the Alicia Vikander uh, movie came out? I was the only one in the theater. <laughs> so I, I was, uh, you know, I, I'm like the only Tomb Raider fan around here, as far as I know. You know, that, that's 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 how much of a fan I am. Of course, I played all, all the Uncharted games too. You know, played the Nature and Drake collection. Played the uh, I, I love my cousin. Play uh, Uncharted Five. Uh, wait, Uncharted 4, um, and we saw the movie together, you know, with Tom Holland, okay? Uh, so, you know, but, but out of the two, I like Tomb Raider a little bit more. I have a little more history with it, with, with, uh, with Lara Croft, okay? Uh, so, yeah. All right, last question here. 
Ian Ingracia. I could have sworn I answered this question already, but I'm gonna, uh, in, just in case, I'm gonna answer it again. What's your rating on Doctor Strange 2? I would give Doctor Strange 2 a 7 out of 10. Maybe an 8. I like, uh, you know what? I, I, I'll give an 8 just because uh, I like the special effects, I like the trippiness of, of the movie and stuff like that. And, um, and uh, the story's pretty good. Multiple, multiple universes and stuff like that. I kind of like that type of stuff, you know. And uh, and the ending kind of put me to tears, you know. Sad to see certain characters go away and stuff like that. Sad. All right. Well, that is it, everyone. Thank you for watching. Be sure to uh, comment, subscribe with more questions for next week's Sunday vlog. This is uh, this is gonna be the thumbnail of the video right here. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment, subscribe. Uh, put some more comments. Uh, uh, Q&A comments. Uh, Q bleh, I can't talk today. Comment with your questions for the Q&A, and I'll answer them the next time I do a Sunday vlog. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.